Hey, what's happening everyone? My name is Jeremy and I'm just like you. I like to save a buck wherever I can. Uh, so if you've got a house and you like fixing things around your house, then definitely subscribe to the channel. Today, we're going to be working on a pressure washer. Now, this is an older pressure washer. It was actually given to me by my brother. Um, it stopped working. He couldn't get it to run. And so we're going to try to figure out what's going on and see if we can't get it running for him. And I got a little helper today. But you can see uh, this is a Honda 2600 PSI. Has definitely seen better days, but I don't think that it's a dead quite yet. We're gonna figure out what's going on. All right, so I haven't even started this thing. I haven't even tried to start it. I really have no clue what's going on with this. It does have fuel. Um, I'll check, make sure it's got oil. I'm pretty sure it's got oil. Yes, it's got oil. Uh, I don't like to start any pressure washer unless I've got water running through it, uh, just because um, there's obviously gaskets and stuff in there and I like to get them wet. So let's make sure we got water running through the whole thing. Okay, we're gonna turn it on, pull out the choke, and let's just see what happens. Well, it clearly started, um, but there is no pressure. So this may not necessarily be a engine won't start, um, but more of a no pressure issue. We clearly have no pressure. My guess is that it's possibly an unloader valve, which is essentially something that relieves the pressure when you let go of the trigger. And so I'm not quite sure exactly where that's at on this pressure washer. I gotta try to find it. And so you can see there's a shroud covering the pump. There's a screw right here and another one on the other side. Um, I'm not quite sure how I would get this off though, because if I take this off, even if I remove these two screws, uh, it's not gonna get past this part right here. And I can't quite figure out how to get this off because there's nothing, obviously this spins and I'm not sure how to get um, get this inside piece off of there. There's nothing I could put a wrench on or anything to move it. I guess if I had like a pipe wrench, I could maybe get in there. But I'm sure that's not the appropriate way. Let me take this shroud off, or at least the screws, and see if I can see kind of what's going on in there. And it looks like possibly this part spins and this might be the unloader valve right there um, but i'm gonna have to get the shroud off to be able to spin it and basically what i thought was the case is the case can't really get this shroud off until i figure out how to get this off Well, I guess that's one way to do it. Just pop it off. All right, so in all actuality, there's not a whole lot of ways to get in this. There's a screw here and here, which doesn't really seem like it would do or get me anything. Uh, this screw comes up off the top. There is this part right here, which again, just has a couple screws. And then obviously this part comes off. That doesn't look big enough. And there's this part right here, which you can see actually spins. This is clearly attached uh, to the drive shaft of the motor. So that is likely not gonna be the spot where the unloader valve is. There is a, like an Allen key right here and one down underneath 
down here. I'm thinking that might be it right there. It's underneath where the hose would plug in and it's got a little wrench area. So I'm gonna try to take that out. There you go, that's it. This video is brought to you by Catapult Local. Now, if you have your own business and you're looking to generate massive leads online, then you need to reach out to Catapult Local. They can do your website design that is conversion optimized to generate massive leads online. They can do your SEO, your pay-per-click, your social media, they can handle all of that. So definitely reach out to them. Go to catapultlocal.com forward slash I am a fixer. They can set up a free strategy session with you. Go check them out and tell them I sent you. All right, so this is it. Guessing that it's just fried. This should move up and down. Seems to be seized. Now that doesn't mean you can't put something in there to try to unseize it. But this is the spot. Spray a little bit of this penetrating oil. See, there's definitely corrosion on it. And it looks like this piece comes out with a Torx bit. So I may try to take this part off and see what's down in there. It might be a spring or something. Alright, so I don't know that this is a great idea because I can hear a spring moving around in there. So... If I take this off, it's possible that it's going to come completely apart. You hear that? The end of this is spinning too while I'm spinning this top part. Alright. So inside, there is an extremely rusted spring, and this thing, thinking that this is supposed to move better than it is, and I'm thinking that it's possible, so inside here, basically the way this works is this, this plunger, this thing sort of plunges in and out, and it uses that spring to adjust the pressure. Well, this is surely not moving very easily. So I think it's just seized. So we might be able to loosen it up. I'm gonna spray some of that liquid wrench down in here and play with it a little bit, see if I can get it to loosen up some more. It's already doing better than it was. Without that spring in there, this thing should just float up and down real simply. Might should be a little resistance because there is a gasket in there, but it's already doing much better. I'm going to get some carb cleaner spray down in here and see if I can clean out some of that corrosion. It's already a million times better. I really wish I had a wire wheel. If I had a wire wheel I could clean this spring up, but I don't, so I'm probably going to go get some sandpaper if I can get some of this rust off of here. Certainly not going to get this perfect, but should get a little better than it was. It's not perfect, but it's better. See if we can put it back together. You can see sort of down in there, that plunger, the whole piece on the inside moves in and out. Probably can't see that. So this 
big heavy duty spring sits in here and that's just the back pressure for that. Quite possible that that spring is not going to move but let's see what happens. Not sure how to get how tight to make it. I'm assuming that this is an adjustment. You can set the pressure up or down. Maybe we'll go like that. See how that works. All right, let's put this back together. Now, if this doesn't do it, then likely it's something with uh, the inside bits and pieces of the actual pump. Maybe some gaskets or something's worn out. We'll go ahead and put this back on. Actually, we'll wait till we put the shroud back on. All right. All right. This is for chemical. And let's hook it back up. All right, let's see if we got water. Got water there. All right, let's start it up. Alright, so I don't know if you noticed, but we have pressure. You can see there. Okay, so there you go. It was the valve. If you want to follow along, save some money as I show you how to do some repairs around your house, then subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss a thing. I've got another video starting right over here. Go check that one out. I'll see you over there.